Uh, what I like about it is that uh, this program, nobody's left behind. And they're quite emotional to see their little child like, oh, wow, we've never seen them do that before. But using reinforcement uh, is one of the biggest ones, you know, making sure that they're always aware that they're doing good things. So just trying to find the right sport for him and think we found it. Angelo's got deleted chromosomes, which his chromosome is 16.11.2, which means that it, that chromosome affects his hearing, his development delayed and learning difficulties. So, inevitably, in evidently, his, his hearing is affected, so pretty much from the age of two, he was pretty much deaf, um, with chronic ear infections, I think one month came from about five year infections in one month, um, three lots of grommets, um, tonsils, adenoids, all that out. Um, so yeah, so and then from there it went from when he was three and a half months old, he was um, projecting, vomiting every single bottle and took him to the hospital and found out that he had a good old muscle blocking his digestive system. So they ended up doing keyhole surgery. That was all fine, came over that. So from virtually from three months, it started from there with chronic delays, ear infections, and then he wouldn't, meet, wouldn't reach his milestones. And at the time he was two, um, still trying to find a diagnosis because um, paediatricians couldn't work out what, what was working out. So they ended up getting a blood test and found out that he had deleted chromosomes and yeah, pretty much that was it. And diagnosis, I suppose with me, it was a bit of a shock, but I was, it was a relief to find out that was, at least I got an answer. To me, I wanted, I wanted the answers and I wasn't gonna let, let it be without finding an answer. Yeah. Three, four, five, six, <laughs> seven, eight, <laughs> nine, ten, <laughs> eleven, twelve. <laughs> you take your good with your bad all the time and you always never know when a bad time is because you always look at a bad time is always a period of things. Um, like this last month, he went through a bit of emotional um, anxiety attack. So you always look when I'm going to when am I going to get through this? Are we going to get through this? Is there or is this it? Or um, and then all of a sudden you will just snap out of it. So I suppose you always take the good with the bad or the bad with the good. If that, I know it doesn't make sense, but you kind of look at it and think, well. What's, it, what's another bright side? If he's got this today, then I need to get a bright, I need to sit, look at something else mm. that could bring him back. Yeah. Angelo does go to a special school. Um, I do like the fact that the special school that he goes to is a small class for him and he gets the one-on-one. -on -one. He thrives on the one-on-one -on -one and I find that his confidence, because he does thrive on, on the confidence. When his confidence is up, that's when he learns the best. Yeah. And I find that being a small class in the school that he goes to really do work with that and he comes he's been coming leaps and bounds so when he does have his little emotional attacks they've got the time to actually bring him through mommy sook sees a big sook mm, just like you no no are you a big sook no 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 <laughs> Talk me. pretty much from the age of six months i had him in swimming um, did that for about a year and then I've decided to get him out of that only because of his ears at the time because he was getting in and out of ear infections but he loved getting out in the water he was pretty much the next Kieran Perkins <laughs> he loved swimming that's why he, he always loved the water um, we do do a lot of bushwalking we often go up to Tambourine um, and 
we often get out and do a lot of nurturing that nurturing up at in the bushwalk we go and see all the nature and all the rest he loves collecting um feathers and leaves and seeing all the different trees so we often do that and then leads up to um seahorse snippers he loves coming to seahorse snippers. he knows when the dates are coming and he's mummy when are we going when we've got to see joe this weekend come on mama we we got to go so he absolutely that's where it brings us up to see horse nippers. So it's just trying to find the right sport for him and think we found it. So the Seahorse program is a program run at North Burley Surf Club for children aged from 5 to 15 where they can come along and enjoy what the Surf Club offers every other child on a Sunday. A lot of the children have to work in teams and work together and the parents on the beach when they're watching are quite astounded and they're quite emotional to see their little child like, oh wow, we've never seen them do that before. So you'll often see that they have issues with social uh, interaction and social communication, um, which can be things like eye contact, joint attention, um, and then just general social interaction with other individuals. Uh, you've also got communication deficits are a big one. So especially early on, there's often communication delays, both in expressive and receptive communication. And then there's the repetitive, com the repetitive uh, behaviors as well. Things like stimming, things like perseverant interests, things such as you know, enjoying trains obsessively, enjoying roller coasters, um, being very involved in one specific topic uh, is something that we do see quite often. So there's a lot of different assessment tools that you can use um, to figure out where the child is at. Um, but being very patient as they learn sometimes a little bit more slowly than other individuals will. Um, but using reinforcement uh, is one of the biggest ones. You know, making sure that they're always aware that they're doing good things and they're learning each of these individual tasks that we're trying to teach them through um, being reinforced and through enjoying the fact that they're learning because that inherent enjoyment of learning won't necessarily come until a later age. Uh, and then just pairing yourself with the kid. And what I mean by pairing is just making sure that that child really enjoys working with you because all of the learning that you have to do once they learn to want to work with you and they really enjoy working with you will come quite easily. We started Seahorse Snippers at North Burley in October 2014 and we ran it through the 2014-2015 season and we're just coming to the end of our 2015-2016 season. So we're coming to the end of our second season. We've run nearly 20 programs within that time and we're really looking forward to the start of our third one in September. When you look around, so many people are having fun and uh, what I like about it is that uh, this program, nobody's left behind, so no matter what you're your ability, you can come out here and people will help you and enjoy the surf and, uh, and the, my idea is that enjoying our surf, it's quintessential Gold Coast, you put up your hand and you have a crack and that's what the, these kids are doing. What I get out of it personally, I get emotional and really happy when I see the kids, but they're kids, kids are kids. If you make kids happy, they're going to be happy. If they're doing something they love, they're going to be happy. The thing that really affects me and really touches my heartstrings, I think, is seeing the parents and the grandparents. And to see the smiles on the parents' faces when they see their kids and they get that opportunity to step back and they don't have to be there holding their child's hand. And it's a big thing for some of the parents because they're always there. And to step back and go, wow, I don't actually have to be there and it's like a little bit of weight sort of comes off their shoulders like my child can be a little bit independent and it's quite a, um, an enlightening moment for the parents and they're taking that step backwards and seeing their children functioning as little independent human beings and it's quite, that's what I love the most about the program. His confidence, absolutely. He, even to the um, the way he feels with other people, to the confidence of going to the beach, to socially, of getting out and about. He, uh, 
he was this quiet little boy. He's always been a bubbly little kid to begin with, but it's just even more socially for him to interact with other people. Um, absolutely loves getting out there and talking to other people, whereas before he was in his little shell and he was too afraid to get out, whereas seahorses, I found that really brought in a lot more confidence in him.